Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to create calculations within the data model environment using the customer info and the, the other info inside of our data model environment. So far so good. We have created calculations within our Excel documents. We have created calculations inside of the pivot table. We also did count where we have been able to know the total numbers of countries products were being sold also we did the count to see different sales channel use to sell to sell to sell those products inside of our our data model environment through power pivot tools now one of the benefits of the of creating calculations such as count Average, distinct count, maximum, minimum inside of the data model is to enable us to create KPI, that is key performance indicators based on those calculations. For example, we have performed simple calculations to know the total numbers of countries which products have been sold, that is 830 countries. But now, I want to set up some threshold. Let's say for example, we have 830 countries which products have been have been sold throughout using both offline and online sales channel. If you sell products more than 500 countries within a week, which is a good turnout, hence it should indicate green. If you sell products between 300 countries in a week, it should indicate yellow. That is, and after is an average result. If you sell product below 200 countries, which is poor, in a week, it should indicate red. However, to do this, we are going to set up a KPI that holds some thresholds. That is the high, the high value or the low value, and get back some indicators. That is some little graphical indicator indicators, letting us know how well that country is performing or the product is performing so take a look this is how you create kpis that is the key performance indicators within your excel data model through the power pivot tool so first first step you have you have got the calculation and the got to have you have got to have and uh, and the calculation already create and uh, of the total numbers of the country which is what 30 which on um, which product have been sold so i am going to right click on here on that new calculations and of my right click option here is the, the key the great kpi which I will give it a click this is going to open up my interface to build the setup for the actual kpi kpi that is the interface is the data the interface this interface is essential where you are going to set up those thresholds all right the key decision we have to make here are what is your maximum value or what is your minimum value or what is your goal essentially where you are trying to get to or where you don't want on this interface in front of me we have got two ways to building the target i can do it based on the measure right that is based on another calculated feed back here inside of my words inside of my my data model which is distinct counts of sales channel which i have already created calculations for it if you click on it on this arrow all right you will see it there all right also i could also i could I could also I could also do it based on what the absolute value 
so i'm not going to use the first method that is def by defining the uh, target by measure which is this thing counts right showing inside the box here in other words how i'm going to use the absolute absolute value to define my target value which allow me to set up a target value all right let me give it a click here and okay so the default value here is 100 fine now since i want to create kp kpi on number of countries which is 830 all right i need to get the average countries since we are working on count which is alphabet and not value we will not be able to work to to do the average count of the countries which pro, which products have been sold except we are working on value in other words let do let's do, let us go back to our to our pivot table let's go back to our pivot table all right so from all these count of countries on the on my screen we can see that the let's look at the highest let's look at the highest counts, uh, counts of countries okay you can see that 33 is is uh, 33 is the highest among all the number of countries counted now i can set that as i am um, that as my range of threshold now let me go back to my performance indicator interface now i can set i can set that to i can set that to to be as part of, as my threshold now let me adjust this to 20 well, let me see this since the highest number is 14 33 so i can adjust my threshold to be between 14 and let me say between 14 and 29 okay fine now however this target i set up now it means that if it's below 14 is below 0 and 14 so i should be in red if it's above 14 but below 29 then i am in yellow so if it is above 29 then i am in what i am in green in other words i want, I want these stretches to go the other way around so down below here i can stop the way that i portray my skill within this threshold that is moving from what red yellow green to what to what to green yellow and red by by giving it a clean down below just to swap the threshold now i've got the threshold below 14 then i'm um, green if it's between 14 and 29 i am yellow and if it is above 29 that is um the red threshold good mm, okay let me change it back to red yellow and green fine okay good now i'm going to go ahead and hit okay here so i have now created a kpi inside of there i could see a little KP, KPI marker down there next to my calculations so that is count of countries count of countries which is 18 but we are yet to take full advantage of this yet all we have done is created the calculations and set up the KPI now let's put this into our report so I'm going to close my power pivot windows 
Okay? Okay? So, now I'm go back to where my pivot table is. I have already gotten the countries here. You can see. Also, I have already got the other priorities inside of my pivot table. Now, I want to bring in the KPI so that I can see how well we are doing. Alright? How I'm going to over to my pivot table feed. I'm open up the order info or info because we are that is where we perform our calculations. So you can see that. So by overing on the table, this showing this is the order info table. So I'm going to go down and open up the order info. Fine. By giving it a click. And, and I have got my count of countries with the KPI. I will give it a click. Okay, good. Good. Now I got three things in there, which is what the which is the value, which is what I already have out there here. So now, but here indicating the count but we make it to be value if you if you remember we we'll, we assume a an average value on this alphabet here in in my previous explanation so now the next one i have got the goal which was the goal maker that i have put back inside of the kpi treasure and i also got the status here all right the title is the actual kpi indicator that shows us how well we are doing so i'm going to turn that off all right good by giving a click i've now got a kpi based on the kpi within the data model remember if it was 14 and below we are in red we are in yellow if it is above 14 above 14 but below 29 and green if we are in if we are above 29 countries this is the this is key performance indicator based on the calculations within our data model try this out jump back into your data model create calculations by right click and create a kpi set up your kpi within your data model and then incorporate it into your pivot table thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the excel functions bye